Here we go again. The fruit of the Spirit. When someone claims to be a man or woman of God, chances are they will have these attributes here. Now, if you don't, don't feel discouraged. You may be a progress in work, so continue trying. But anyway, when a person says that they are a man or woman of God, they are going to have these attributes here. What some people may do, which is so bad to do this, they may look at a person's gift and not look at the fruit. And you may say to me, Kevin, what are you talking about? They may look at a person's gift. Hey, this person can do this. This person can teach really well. This person can do that or this. But what some people may not do, they don't look at the person as in how that person is living. If that person is following the rules and regulations of the Bible, they look at the gift. Now, what if you follow a person that has a gift to do something? We have to know that demons, Satan, can give people gifts to do things. So if you see a person that can operate in some type of power and they claim to be a man or woman of God so you choose to believe in that person and not look at how that person is as in their personality or anything like that you are going to be fooled even when that person may be teaching or saying something strange you may ignore it and only look at the gift. Listen, a powerful gift means nothing if the person is not living righteously because that person can easily deceive you into doing wrong things. You don't follow a person because of their gift you follow a person if they are serving God. And you will know if they are serving God based upon these attributes right here. In Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, which is patience, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness which is humility temperance which is self-control against such there is no law so a man or woman of god are going to have these attributes if they don't chances are you need to stay away from them unless you are ministering to that or those people don't follow anyone if they don't display these attributes, these fruit, the fruit of the Spirit. Because that is one easy way for you to start doing some really demonic things. You look at the fruit, not at the gift. Everyone has a gift. Just because a person is operating in some type of spiritual power doesn't mean that they are a man or woman of God. Please listen. Let me stop here. God bless you.